In this video, we will be discussing working with pages. MotorWave comes with a default set of pages found here at the bottom of the console. Now, if you have the Strategy, Professional, or Ultimate Editions, you will see pages. Depending on which one of those you have, you may not have all these specific pages. With the other editions of MotorWave, you can always add page functionality by purchasing an add-on module, and details for that can be found on our website. MotorWave allows you to create, modify, duplicate, and remove pages. Let's start with creating pages. We can click on File, New, New Page, or we can right click on an existing page and select New Page, or we can click on the New Page button found here at the bottom. Once you click on the New Page, you'll be presented with this window where you will be prompted to type in a page name. So in this case, I can type in USD pairs or whatever name I wish to use and then select from one of the predefined layouts. You also have the option of selecting when creating a page a different type of page and the categories can be found here. We have an account type, a scan type, or optimized type. In this case I'm just going to create a chart type and I will want two charts side by side so I click on that and now you see the new page created. Now we can duplicate a page by right clicking and selecting copy or we can go to the far right here and click on the copy page icon and that will create a duplicate where we can then state a new name. So in this case I will select pairs, click OK and now I have the page listed here. Now to modify a page, I can again right click on a page and click edit page or I can click on the edit page icon found in the bottom right and now I can go back to one layout here and if I wish just to change this perhaps to read something else I can do that as well and actually let's try changing the type. Why don't we do that? Okay, so now I have an account page here. Now to remove pages, again, um, we can right click and select close or we can click on the X at the bottom of the right hand right next to the page name. So we'll click on the X to remove the page. Now a note on removing pages, once you remove a page, you cannot recover it. You would have to recreate it. Okay, so in this case we're sure we're going to remove it. And now it's gone. You can also reorder pages by left clicking and moving left or right. Now as you drag, you will notice a blue vertical bar. That represents the new position of the page if you let go of the mouse. So in this case, we're going to let go and it is now between the scan and optimize pages. Okay, so that concludes this video on working with pages and we'll see you in the next video.